Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Karen Briscoe, author of Flip Time, Love Life. Karen, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Paul. I think that this is brilliant because you're sharing such great content for your community here and people who are wanting to get published. Well, thank you very much. We are looking forward to having you on today. Are you ready to get started with question number one? Yes, let's go. All right. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? I would recommend to work with someone who knows and has some experience in the area. I'm in the real estate profession and I see for sale by owners and I'm like, okay, they don't know what they don't know. And so I think it's kind of like the same kind of thing in publishing. Uh, There's so many aspects to it. It's a constantly changing industry and to really work with somebody who's a professional like yourself is a key to success in, in getting published. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? So my first book, Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day, which was um, published in 2016, it took me about nine months to write and go through the editing process and the design process. And when it hit the the shelves, if you will, of, of digital formats like Amazon and that kind of thing, I was really spent and I was like, it's like having a baby, right? Nine months, I just birthed it. And I was like, oh, my son was the one that shared the epiphany, mom, you've got to go do something now to to market it. And so I would say that that's that because I think that a lot of uh, people think, oh, I'm going to write a book and it's going to go out there and then it's just going to sell itself. And uh, that isn't really usually the case. So I think the hardest part is But it's also the best part. I think it's become the exciting part for me because once I had that awakening, that epiphany, then I set about to get the word out about that book. And now I have two others. And and now I've done it a couple of times. I it's definitely easier like many any many things once you've done it a couple of times, you you get some skill set going. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launches that has worked well. Well, I think podcasting is brilliant. I also have done, you know, speaking and, and a lot of other more traditional marketing endeavors. But the beautiful thing about podcasting is I could do this from, you know, the comfort of my own office, I have my own little podcasting studio. And I started seeing the correlation pretty quickly of being on podcasts and book sales. And that led to the light bulb going off of, well, if I had a podcast, then I could have amazing conversations with professionals. And and that is where I launched the 5-Minute Success Podcast in October of uh, 2017. So it's about ready to celebrate its second birthday. So I think podcasting is a brilliant strategy. And what are the ways that you've been able to leverage the podcast with your book, especially when it's coming out for the book launch side of things? So there's certainly, you know, key podcasters that in terms of whatever your niche is, is what I would recommend. I know that I've had authors come to me and request a specific day for the podcast launch. And I think that that can have a great impact. Um, But I do think that it, in many, most cases, the more niche the podcast is because it's going to be the audience, the community that's going to have the most impact. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? So The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. It was, I met Hal because on my journey of writing my first book, Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day, it's designed as a daily reader and it's what I, I call a new delivery system for information and inspiration. And someone said, oh, you should talk to Hal Elrod because 
in the Miracle Morning, and particularly the Miracle Morning for real estate agents, one of the components of the Miracle Morning is reading. And I was able to meet Hal, and he did endorse all three of my books. The thing is, is that I put into practice, which is what I think is what makes a book really impactful is when it actually transforms your life, right? So by implementing the Miracle Morning, many authors I'm sure will have shared that writing in the morning and putting that first is a one of the best strategies. And that's what I found as well. But also the components of the Miracle Morning, putting that into practice in my life has, has really been transformative. And for our final question, what is your favorite quote and why? So Warren Buffett said, ultimately, there's one investment that supersedes all others. Invest in yourself. And the why I think is self-evident in that I think that many people put their aspirations or their investments into, well, it could be in, in really anything like the stock market or other people or the economy or the government or whatever. But the thing is, is investing in yourself by being an author, by podcasting, by improving doing personal self-development, business development is going to have the most impact on your life. Absolutely. That was a piece of advice my dad gave me many years ago. He said, the best investment that you can make is in yourself and in your business. And they said, you'll get no better return from doing that. Well, it seems like we have very similar background there, Paul. Yeah. Well, Karen, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show today. What is the best way for people to find you online? So everything is under five minutes success. That's the number five minute success. There's a website, Facebook group and page, Instagram, and then on Amazon and all the other providers, you can find the books, uh, Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day, Commit to Get Leads, 66 Day Challenge, and Flip Time, Love Life. Well, Karen, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. 